Alright guys, so I am parked in a parking lot, uh, an empty parking lot, and I guess some some residents saw my car, and now I have a security guy uh, up my butt here, but I am not moving. I am making a video, and we're going to talk about the wicker bill, and why I actually uh, went with the wicker bill that I went with. Now a lot of people, what they end up doing when they have the three-piece spoiler is upgrading to a Hellcat styled uh, spoiler. And you know, that's a really good avenue. A lot of people do it. It looks great. <clears throat> the Hellcat spoiler is very aggressive looking. Uh, it, it's, it looks dynamite. And especially in my opinion, when you take that Hellcat spoiler and you put the, the wicker bill on it, I think it looks, it looks so mean. Now, why did I end up going with the wicker bill for the three piece spoiler? And I'll go over how much I paid for it, install, everything. Um, so three months ago, I was looking into uh, different spoiler options. And I happened to stumble upon a video and a, a guy had the wicker bill for the three-piece spoiler on there. And I was like, wow, that looks sharp. It looks really good. Um, and so I kind of that is what kind of really opened my mind up to getting the wicker bill for the three piece spoiler. And then, um, a few weeks back, I, I was kind of looking into it more and more and more. And I finally, I stumbled upon a couple more videos of installs and watching their install video. I was like, you know what, this, this looks great. And I'm going to have, I, I want to do it. Uh, rather than going and getting the Hellcat spoiler, then putting the wicker bill on, I just thought, that the overall look of the wicker bill on the three piece spoiler was exactly what I wanted. And, uh, I thought it was a very unique approach to the spoiler. You don't see many people putting wicker bills on a three piece spoiler. And that is something that I try to do, uh, with my RT. I try to do things that are a little bit offbeat, a little bit more unique. Um, and so, you know, I, with modifications, there are some people that like it, some people that don't like it, but you know, each modification takes, takes your car away from its stock form. And, uh, you know, in the end, that's, that's really what you want. You know, you want to make your car the way that you want to make it and, um, you know, have your vision of the RT or your, whatever, whatever you're driving. And so, uh, the, the, the wicker bill ended up costing me, I got the upgraded um, blackout, I think they call it like the stealth package, and let's see, it was 159 uh, for the wicker bill, so 160 bucks, and then an added $30 for the stealth, and basically it just has everything blacked out uh, to make it look a little bit more stealthy, which is what I really wanted, and so that was an additional $30. So you're looking at 190 bucks, and then I ended up spending a hundred dollars on install. I was gonna do it myself, uh, but the performance shop said that they would do it for a hundred dollars, and I was like, you know what? Let's let's just do that. Um, you know, they did it perfectly. Everything is even. Everything looks great. Dynamite. They're very professional over at RZT Performance, and you know that's kind of what I want. You know, I I, I don't want to hack up my car. I don't want to chop it up screw up the paint, all that other good stuff. If I can help it, I want professionals working on my car. And so, um, I ended up going that route and I absolutely love the look and it's definitely, it has a little bit more unique look than some of, you know, the other chargers that go a different Avenue. Um, and so what I have in mind, uh, with the wicker bill is going to look great with the other modifications that I'm, I'm getting ready to put in place. In the next, I would say, two months, the RT is going to slowly morph into a very stealthy, 
aggressive looking car. And once those visual modifications are in place, then I will go back to adding more performance pieces. Uh, I love, you know, the direction that it's going in at the moment. I love that that lowered look, the, the wicker bill. It really just, in my opinion, those two right there off, you know, just look great. Um, yeah, so that's kind of why I went with the wicker bill. I, I kept seeing, you know, some some things popping up uh some videos and some images and i'm like you know what this just looks so nice it looks uh a little bit more unique it looks uh, i don't know i just like it so either you like it or you just don't like it and you know to each their own kind of a thing but um yeah with the other modifications that i have in place you guys will end up liking that wicker bill and if you don't you don't but you know a lot of people didn't like that front splitter that I uh, put on the front, and I think a lot of people are coming around to it. it I, in my opinion, I think with the car lowered and the pieces that I continue putting in place, uh, the RT is slowly morphing into what I have in my mind. And I think a lot of people are starting to come around with the vision that I have. Remember, as you're modding your car, it's not a complete, you, you guys don't have the complete picture of what I have in my mind. And, um, you know, you're, you're, you're watching the progression of, of the car. So, uh, bear with me, uh, the, the RT in the next few months should start coming together really nicely. And, uh, yeah, guys, thank you, uh, a bunch for all the support. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed that, that video, that reveal video, a uh, big shout out to, uh, FP 2000 and J Mac 95. You guys came through your cars are awesome. They look great. And yeah, that's really the why I went with the wicker bill, how much it cost and, and everything. So uh, I'm loving the look and I'm going to keep modding. <laughs>